In today's day and age, if you run a surface-based business, you can run your entire business off of your smartphone. I know that sounds like a tall order, but I did it and I still continue to do it. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the five best apps that I used when I first started my handyman business. So let's dive in. So first up on our list is a little app called mail.ru. Now, when you're first setting up your business, you need an email client and that's exactly what this is. And there's so many email clients out there. And I just chose this because it had a good user experience, uh, good functionality, the basics. You can set up quick autoresponders. You can create folders to organize your email and uh, you can do all the basic functionality of your typical email client. You can even change the background within the app just to give it a little bit more functionality and, and kind of customize it to the way you like it. Uh, but I recommend this app. It's free and uh, supports pretty good. Uh, I really haven't had any issues with it. Now as a bonus tip, if you don't already, in today's day and age, you should definitely have a website and your email should be your name at your company name. That just adds another layer of professionalism. Uh, you could you know, use your company name at Gmail and you have a Gmail address and with that's free. But again, you know, if you want an added layer of professionalism, I highly recommend getting a domain, setting up a basic website, and then having an email that's connected to your domain. Now, these first two apps I'm talking about are all about communication with your clients, uh, email, and then you, I use Google Voice for text and calling. And I like Google Voice, obviously, because it's free. It works really well. It has spam filtering in it. You can set up your own voicemail greeting. You can also get texts and voicemails sent to your email if you kind of primarily work out of your email inbox. But Google Voice is great. It sets up easily. You get your own personal number that has the area code of the area you're trying to target and it links right to your cell phone. And what's great about Google Voice, just having a, a separate business number is that you can keep your business world and your personal world separate and I'm always a proponent of doing that. What's also nice about Google Voice is that if you run multiple businesses or different branches of a business, you can get multiple Google Voice numbers connected to your cell phone. So if you haven't already, I highly recommend checking that out. Again, it's free and you can use it today. All right, number three on our list of the apps that I used when I first started my business is Google Tasks. Now you need an app out of the gate to help you manage all your to-dos and keep track of job supplies, keep track of little details that you have on the job. So kind of a lightweight app to do that is Google Tasks. And it's simple, it's clean, it has a really good user experience. And you know, you can just create different lists, say for each of your client, and then you can create subtasks within that client list to keep track of all the jobs that they ask and also uh, supplies that you need to pick up from the hardware store. All right, next up on our list is one of my favorites. It's a financial accounting software called Wave Financial. Now they have both a mobile and a desktop version and the mobile version is good for you know reconciling your finances. And I do that about once a month. Um, they do have two apps. One of the apps shows you the dashboard that you can see if you were on your desktop. So it's just a mini version of the desktop and you can categorize transactions in the app and just kind of get a picture of your finances re in real time. The second uh, app that they have is an invoicing app. So if you wanted to, you can use that for invoices. Now uh, on the desktop version, you can also send estimates and they rolled out a new feature recently where you can create a customer database. And what I love about Wave is that they're constantly making new updates and rolling out new features to make the software even more powerful. And you know, I've been with them since the inception of my business. I still use them today. And it's just a great piece of software. You can connect your bank accounts and import all of your transactions. And again, it's completely free. They make their money through credit card processing and their tax accounting professionals. And that just adds to their overall goal of trying to be a one-stop financial shop for you. All right, so the last and final app I've got for you today is my main app that I used when I first started my business, and that is called BreezeWorks. You can do everything. You can do invoicing, estimating, you can schedule jobs, and you can create a customer database, keep all of your client information in there. And I highly recommend this app because this app truly makes your business mobile. 
and uh, you can do everything real time in the field. You can take payment right after a job is done and then send the customer a receipt right away while you're still at their house. They even have an automations feature. If you have a newsletter, you can just do kind of marketing and promotional emails. Um, you can also send follow-up reminders on estimates. You can send uh, you know, project satisfaction follow-ups after a week or so after you do the job. Breezeworks is also good for beginners because it's at a good price point. You know, you're not coming into it with too much money. I think it's about $307 right now for the year. And for that price point, it packs a lot of punch in terms of functionality. So if you're interested in any of the apps we talked about today, I'll link them in the description below. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you got some value out of that. And if you did, drop a comment below. Let me know what type of service you run and what apps that you use on a daily basis. I'm really into productivity and I'm always looking for a new solution to run my business a little bit more efficiently. So if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Also, be sure to check out my other video on the best software for a handyman business. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care and be well.